Hello, and welcome to our virtual tour around the United States. On this field trip, I will be showing you the various geological hazards within our lithosphere, atmosphere, and hydrosphere. So without further ado, let's begin our journey. We will depart from our home campus, Pasadena City College, and travel to the city of San Luis Obispo. Our trip into Central California will bring us towards one of Earth's lithospheric hazards, earthquakes. Within San Luis Obispo is the famous San Andreas Fault Line, which was created by the North American Plate and Pacific Plate sliding past each other. Scientists say this transformed plate boundary is long overdue for a big earthquake. It is important to know that when an earthquake occurs, you should not panic. Rather, stay where you are and protect your head from falling objects. There are also ways you can prepare yourself for an earthquake by gathering emergency supplies like a flashlight, water supply, canned food, first aid kit, and any spare cash because you never know when you will need it. Now we will travel to our next location, Oklahoma City. It is here that we will encounter our first atmospheric hazard, lightning. The weather in Oklahoma is warm and humid, which makes it the perfect environment for thunderclouds. They are formed by the mixture of warm, humid air from the Gulf of Mexico colliding with the cool, dry air from the northern states. Residents here have to beware of lightning because the local government says that in any given year, they are within 50 miles of one striking them. To prevent yourself from being hit by lightning, it is best advised to stay indoors as the chances of getting hit directly is unlikely. However, should you be outside when it occurs, never stand under a tree because when lightning strikes it, the tree will only transfer the lightning to you. And for people that want to take extra precautions, they can reinforce their house with a lightning rod to help absorb the lightning bolt. Finally, we will now head towards our final destination, New Orleans. It is here that we will encounter our last geological hazard in the hydrosphere, flooding. New Orleans is on the verge of going below sea level as precipitation and climate change continues to increase. It is also vastly surrounded by huge bodies of water, which makes it an area that is common for storm surges. As well as a lack of proper drainage system, this makes New Orleans a state that is highly vulnerable to flooding. New Orleans was a victim of the devastating Hurricane Katrina, which caused over $125 billion in damages. To prevent future flood disasters, the Louisiana government must build levees and dams to control the flow of water. New Orleans that has also created the world's best hurricane protection system, which costed approximately $1.1 billion. This system is extremely expensive because it is designed to pump water out through the black pipes with the yellow diesel engines. Experts say that it is the best pumping station in the world. Thank you for taking this tour with me around the United States. I hope you have learned as much as I have during this trip. Please feel free to share this experience with your friends, family, and relatives.